Hi, and welcome to another Cricket Victoria Coach Force Training with Purpose clip. I'm Dean Russ, the Coaching and Talent Pathway Manager, and with me today is Victorian wicketkeeper Nicole Fulton. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you. A dynamic warm-up such as this helps the wicketkeeper move their feet and activate the key muscle groups that will be used throughout the session. By adding in multiple catches, this helps hone their vision and gives the keeper a feel of the ball into their gloves. It is important to get out of the nets at times and be creative with our wiki keepers. We have a chance to use our surrounding areas with a brick wall and a golf ball. This drill is designed for wicket keepers to practice staying low while catching the ball. Using a golf ball ensures there's enough pace and bounce off the hard surface to replicate a match environment where a player would be catching a cricket ball. Catching a smaller ball also helps with precision and watching the ball all the way into the keeper's hands. At times keepers need to be self-sufficient and this is a perfect example of this. This is a good activity that helps rhythm and routine for the wicket keeper up to the stumps. It's also important that the coach or the hitter is able to execute every ball. Using a tennis racket and tennis ball allows a training environment similar to that of wicket keeping to spin bowling. Varying levels of spin can be applied by the hitter to replicate a match where no two deliveries are the same. We are implicitly promoting the notion of staying low and the use of soft hands. Using a flinger to the keeper without a batter allows them to focus completely on their catching technique and footwork. The key focus is rhythm. This activity should never be rushed and allow the keeper enough time to set up appropriately. So Nicole, what's an activity that you like to do? I like to get as game-like as possible, so um, yeah, practicing things that I would normally do in a game, so uh, I'll just get the knicker bat out, get some little underarms and just catch some nicks. Perfect, let's do it. Let's do it. We are now bringing in match-like conditions with more external stimulus. The keeper's sole focus is on tracking the ball into their gloves and not becoming distracted by the batter or the sound of the nick. This nicking bat is a great coaching tool and can be a great DIY project. All you need is an old bat, some hard plastic strips and a couple of screws. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this clip. Remember, the most important thing is to catch the ball.